Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Sola Chagokin GX57 Space Battleship Yamato. This is done by Bandai, came out in 2010. Absolutely fantastic representation of such an iconic vehicle. Now we see that it's taken off from Earth there. We get to see that it's got a little bit of a, um, got the wave motion gun action going there. And we have a nice little bonus accessory piece, which is the Gamelon missile there. On the top here we get to see a nice silhouette of the battleship, nice kind of like mirrored Kind of look and on the back we get to see that it has a ton of accessories and gimmicks and whatnot so really sweet piece all right let's take a look at it now all right here is the battleship now i may refer to this as the argo at times um switching back and forth from the yamato and the argo i just want to apologize for that i'm from the united states i know it has star blazers and in star blazer this is called the argo they are the same ship so um don't want any confusion there but all right let's look at the accessories now so here's the gamelon missile that we saw on the front of the box very nice um it's a nice added bonus accessory piece i really don't um i'm not going to really use it so it's still in the plastic bag here but you do get two front ends of the missile which is nice so you can have it either just normal and just have it on the stand or you can have this piece right here and you can actually lodge it into the um, wave motion gun and kind of recreate the one episode that it was featured in. Does come with the extra stand pieces, so if you want you can have it like this as you see horizontally or you can have it in a like takeoff position like so, which is kind of a nice little bonus. These atmospheric type of um, wings here. There's a little panel that's on a spring. Right here you just kind of push them in. They lock into place. And now you have the wings. And then lastly, we have two of the rocket anchors here. They're on a nice little die cast chain. You just take this piece off right here. You can see it right there. And you just plug it in and then you can, I guess, recreate some of their little gravity slingshot maneuvers that they did in the show. All right. Let's take a look at the Yamato in depth a little bit here. So the front end, fantastic look. I mean, that is just awesome. And if you're familiar with the show, um, you know how you know cool this vessel actually is. So look at the front end. I mean, the wave motion gun there it has all the lines. The detailing is just amazing. Moving on to the shot cannons here. They do rotate and sink, but their barrels are individually you know, articulated, which is really cool. So I do like that. Again, detailing in the bridge area in the captain's um, lodgings. We do have the pulse lasers. Unfortunately, you have to use your finger on the actual um, barrels here to move them. The previous um, model of this actually had a dial, which is unfortunate that Bandai took that out. Now there's a little button on the back of the smokestack here to reveal the missiles, which is really cool. And there's some detailing there. And again, the shock cannons on the back are the same. We do have a nice little um, slingshot, I guess, catapults for the Cosmo Zero. And there's the wave motion engine in the back. There's a little panel right here that you can store some of the fighter jets. Push this little piece down and you can launch them. And now this part right back here, all the way into here is die cast. Very nice. There's another little place here that you can open up. It does take two AAA batteries for the Yamato. Now they're housed right here. Now you have to be very careful. There's a lot of thin plastic pieces on here and as you can see these are very thin. Trying to take this off you have to be very careful. You have to take it like pretty much straight down. If you kind of do it at an angle you're gonna catch this and you're gonna just snap that off. And same to the front here. And again like I said the pulse lasers are thin. This part up here, I mean over here, really thin. It does come packaged very nicely. I mean, it's a Sola Chagokin, you know, item, so it does come in this nice little, I guess, styrofoam coffin, which is very nice, but if you don't handle it correctly with kid gloves, you may um, end up stressing it or just breaking it. And then there's the little, like, radar part in the front there. All right, let's put it back on the stand. 
And let's take a look at the individual fighter jets now. All right, let's take a look at the individual planes here. I have a penny there for scale. So here's the Cosmo Zero. As you can see, they are very, very small. And if they get knocked off the shelf and you have shag carpet, um, they're gone. <laughs> I mean, good luck trying to find these guys. But I do love the fact that Bandai put a lot of effort into these. They're made out of this nice kind of um, rubbery plastic. But I love the fact that um, the amount of detail they put on here is fantastic. Now, they could have just kept it a gray color, but they wanted it to be as show accurate as possible. So we have the red, we have the yellow, the blue cockpit. I mean, this is spot on. And another cool thing is they're in scale with the Yamato. So that's really awesome. Now it comes with two of the black tigers here. Again, great paint detail there. It comes with a medical plane. And it comes with an assortment of Cosmo Tigers, which were featured in the Common Empire Season 2 um, show there. Another one. Just love the detail. And then there's this plane. I forgot what this one's actually called. But still, very, very nice. All right. All right, before I get into the electronics, I forgot to mention that this is a 1 in 6 25th scale version of the Yamato. So it's roughly a little over 17 inches long. Now, as far as the electronics, the remote is actually stored in the stand here, which is a really cool um, feature. And it's in the shape of the message capsule, which is also really nice. Take that out. It takes two um, AA or two AAA batteries, actually, just like the Yamato. Now it has five buttons here. The center large one here is for the wave motion gun. You push it once, it starts to charge. You push it again, you actually fire it. If you just push it once, it will fire on its own after um, over time. The next um, button here is for the shot cannons. The next one here is for the pulse lasers. This one's for the wave motion engine. And the last one here is for the annoying alarm system. Now it does have music from the show. Now the show did come out in Japan in 1974 and then it came to the United States in 1979 so the music is dated but by pushing the center button here and with a combination of the smaller ones you can actually get the opening theme the ending um, theme and some other um, music bits so and also a really sweet feature is the fact that you can have the music going while you're actually having a battle scene so you can have the cannons firing off or the pulse lasers going so that's kind of a cool nice little playability right there I guess if you want now the speakers are right here in the Yamato and the remote sensors right here. So, all right, let's take a look at the wave motion gun. That right there probably sold me on this entire um, Yamato. I just absolutely love that. All right, let's take a look at the um, sound effects for the shot cannons. Pulse lasers. And the wave motion engine. And lastly, all right, now let's check out the opening theme. So then you can actually have the guns go off.
which is a really cool feature. I really um, do like that. It was a nice little added touch there. All right, the GX57 here is probably one of the best Yamato or Argos that you can get out there. I think Bandai did a phenomenal job with the detail and the show accuracy that they put into this. And then you throw in the electronics and then you have the accessory pieces. It's just a fantastic piece to have in your collection. Now, unfortunately, it is out of production, so you're gonna have to go the secondary market route. And since it is a Sola Chagokin item, it can command a premium price. But with all Sola Chagokin items, they're already, you know, high priced items anyways, because you are paying for quality and it's a collector's item, it's not a toy, so. But if you're looking at this used, just make sure that you're looking at a lot of pictures and asking questions because it does have a lot of these thin plasticky kind of areas that can, you know, over time, if it's not handled right, can be stressed or just snap off. So keep that in mind. Now there is gonna be a new version of the Yamato coming out in 2014, which is actually under the Star Blazers name. And it's based off of the Star Blazers 2199 Argo. It's the GX64. And I believe it's supposed to be even bigger than this. Bandai's claiming it's going to be the biggest um, Argo Yamato in the Chigokin line. So that should be pretty cool. And I think the pre-order for it is up right now. And it's like $240, something to that nature. So you can always go that route. And I think it's going to have all the same type of electronics and um, accessory pieces and stuff like that. So that'll be cool. All right, so this has just been a semi-quick look at the GX57 from the Solo Chigokin line. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.